dear students in today's lecture we will uh, discuss about a bit introduction of the cell biology cell biology is basically the study of the cell structure and functions and that basically revolves around the concepts that deals with the cell uh, that uh, cell is the basic fundamental unit of life and it also focus on the cell that permits a detailed understanding of the tissues and organisms that a cell is composed of if we talk about uh, what actually cell is cell as i have discussed earlier there are the basic building blocks of all living things and if we go precisely uh, related to the biology the cell is the basic membrane bound unit that contains the fundamental molecules of life and in which all the living things are composed and if we talk about the human body that human body composed of trillions of cells and which provide structure to the body and they do different type of functions for example they take the nutrients from the food and then convert that food or that nutrients into energy and also carry out other specialized functions if we talk about the discovery of the cells in 1665 english scientist robert hook first time discovered cells while he was looking at the thin slice of the cork and he described that cells are tiny boxes like the honeycomb and he thought that cells only exist in uh, plants and fungi while in 1973 another scientist antony van leeuwenhoek used a handmade microscope to observe pond scum and discovered single cell organisms and he called these organisms as animal cules and he observed uh, these cells also bl in blood cells from the fishes birds frogs and dogs and humans therefore it was known that cells are found in animals as well as in plant cells between the hook and uh, leeuwen hook discoveries and the mid 19th century very few cell theory advancement was made this was probably due to the widely accepted traditional belief in spontaneous generations examples of spontaneous generations that they thought that mice always comes from the dirty clothes or from the corn husk or maggots from the rotting meats while uh, uh, thanks to the louis pasteur who uh, uh, much doubt existed about spontaneous generation and conclusively louis disproved this theory of spontaneous generation then uh, in 1883 uh, english botanist shilden Uh, uh, concluded that all pl pl plant parts of made of uh, are made up of cells and in 1839 german physiologist schwann who was a close friend of shilden uh, stated that all animal tissues are also made up of cells in 1858 uh, rutfold rivers a russian physicist a uh, physician after extensive study of cellular pathology pathology concluded that cell must arise from the pre existing cells so uh, here is the, the theory cell theory and here are basic components of cell theory uh, first uh, basic component is that all organisms are composed of one or more cells and these cells are the basic units of life in all living things and third is the all cells are produced for by the division of pre-existing cells thank you thank you